Okay, what we have going on here is a catch can install, uninstall, and reinstall. Um, I put this catch can in here um, just to see if it fits. It's not hooked up or anything. Uh, didn't have too many options on hooking it because the brackets are kind of one dimensional. Um, you don't get a really good choice in the brackets as far as this elite engineering um, catch can you just get one bracket one angle not that many options so I had to go and purchase uh, another bracket from from Lowe's and I will try to see if that will give me a better angle because this here it's not a good angle because for one, it's leaning to the side, and, and two, it's just not a good look. So, I'm going to reposition it. I'm going to use the same bolt here for my new bracket, and just see if that angle is going to do me any justice as far as getting this thing hooked up correctly. Uh, right now, I'm just going to install the catch can. I'm not going to do the hoses right now because I'm in the process of getting my new valve covers installed and uh, I'll just have to read it'll just be in the way so this here is my new bracket that I'm gonna try to put in here install right in there and use this here other bracket to to go with my catch cam bracket so I did have to end up drilling a bigger hole here because I don't think that screw is going to fit so I drill it a little bigger so we'll see what happens Let's go ahead and take this old one off Put that bolt out, catch can off, okay, that's the bracket for the catch can, just one dimensional like I said, just gives you no alternate angles. So this here, let's see, okay, this steel hole might not be big enough to get this through. I'm going to have to drill this hole just a little bit bigger because I knew this wasn't going to go through, but this here, just going to have to give it a little more clearance. So while I do that, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna cut this hole a little bigger. Take this old bit, a little bigger bit here. So, see the difference in the pits. Okay, it's a tough little sucker here. All right, now we're back over here with the bracket drilled a little, a little thicker. Um, do I want to go this way with it?
that practice on there, that practice tight. Okay, so. Uh, if this catch can goes, it can be mounted. Don't want it right there, so I have to reverse this. Make her come the other way, or I can catch it right here nope don't want to catch it right there I can catch it right here can't catch it right there because Okay, let's try a new location. Let's take this off. Okay, let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Catch cam bracket. And of course, that has to be drilled too. But let's see how that goes. Okay, back, drill the hole a little bigger. So now that goes down there. This can go in here. That clamps on at that. Okay. Just tighten down on it a little bit. Okay. Tighten down on that a little bit. Okay, it's pretty sturdy. Let's see what we got for as far as clearance. Okay. Can my catch can go here? Can my catch can go here? Yes, my catch can can go here. Right there. My lines can point like that. And let's see, can, can my bracket go here? Okay. Can my wing nut, got a wing nut here. So, wing nut, should screw right on to there. Like so. We need that. Okay. Bam. Okay. Tighten up the wing nut. Bam. Catch can. Okay. It's not the prettiest thing. Maybe I should go ahead and paint my bracket black. Um, I don't like the extra, this extra here. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, yeah. And I don't really like that part either, so. I wish I could get something to just shave that down. Shave that down. Shave this part off. And 
a cash can would be complete. I like where it's at. I like it right there. Okay. I like it right there. It's pretty sturdy coming off of this here box. Yep. Nice, tight, no play. Cool. I like the location, but I don't really like the look. So we got, we're going with Elite Engineering. So, don't really like the look. Looks a little sloppy. Okay. Well, if you're going with Elite Engineering, you're only going to get that one bracket. If you're going with the model that I have, I think it's the uh, Elite 2. Um, but you're only going to get that bracket if you go with the one that I have. And this bracket here, I had to purchase from Lowe's. It only costs like two bucks. It's just a uh, L L shaped bracket, L bracket, and you may have to drill some bigger holes into it just to get the screws through it, or you can use smaller screws. It just depends on what you have. But yeah, that's my cash can install. I had it going here. I got the re. I got to put the uh, screws back in my head, so it was coming out of my head right here, but it was just too cramped, so I just gotta go ahead and reconnect, reconnect that, how we had it. So it was, yep. But yeah, that's my cash can install. Hope this video helps somebody, you know, with a, if you got a G8 or if you just got a LS engine or a Chevy SS or, you know, if your setup is the same as mine, hey, that's a good spot right there for it. There's a good bracket for it. Also, not too many places I could have went I see other GAs with their cash cans and they have, they put it over here or, you know, it's just up to you, but that's my spot right there. It's kind of simple, pretty simple. Okay, it seems like it just hit me to turn that upside down so the bracket is down here and it's not so obnoxiously in the way like an eyesore so it's still kind of an eyesore but you know the bracket is turned turned in this way now so hey sometimes it takes me a little while to come up with you know with a plan B so I like that a lot better it's not so much of an eyesore it clears my my fans you know, so bam, right there. Got my uh, bracket. Now I just gotta hook up the lines, but I'm not doing that yet. Like I said before, getting my valve covers switched, getting them changed to these tall LS valve covers here along with Magnaflow for uh, mid-pipe. So, that's what I'll be working on. Yep, the catch can installed. Thank you very much.